वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल ड्रॉ आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ऑफ कोन ऑफ डायामीटर फोर्टी एम एम एंड हाइट फिफ्टी एम एम सो लेट एस सी वट स्टेप्स वी नीड इन ऑर्डर टू ड्रॉ आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ऑफ कोन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू ड्रॉ थिन हॉरिजेंटल लाइन ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर्स सो आई हैव यूज दीज थ्री डॉट्स टू ड्रॉ अ थिन लाइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर्स After this, we will use protector and we will put protector at this point, and we will draw two lines at thirty degrees on both sides, and we call those lines as isometric axes. So, from this side, measure thirty and mark a point, and from other side, measure thirty and mark a point. then after that we will line our scale with this point and that point and we will draw continuous thin line of any length at the start then we will align our scale with this point and that point and we will draw another continuous thin line make sure these lines must be thin so these are two isometric axes so after this we will see the diameter of the cone given in the problem so diameter is given to us as 40 mm so we have to cut these two axes to that length so for that what we will do we will open compass to 40 mm and we will place compass at this point and we will cut this axis to 40 with a thin curve and cut this axis to 40 with a thin curve then after that from this point draw another curve with the help of compass and that will be at 40 mm same radius we are using then use this intersection and with the help of compass draw another curve with same radius that is 40 mm and it will cut the previous curve and we will get an intersection after this we will join these two intersections with the continuous thin line then we will join these two intersections with the continuous thin lines so this is known as isometric of a square now over here we will apply four center method the name of the method is four center method so for that what we need to do out of these four corners we will pick those corners where angle is more than 90 degrees you can see at this corner and at this corner angle is more than 90 degrees so we will pick these two corners we will call this as center number 1 and this as center number 2 so name of the method is four center so we have located two centers with the help of these two centers we will create two more centers so how to create those two centers we have to mark the midpoints of these lengths in the next step and we know this length is of 40 mm so we will open compass to 20 mm and put your compass at this intersection and mark the mid of these two lengths this length and this length and draw thin curves so we have marked mid points of these two lengths now put your compass at this point and mark the mid of this length similarly put compass at this 
एंड एंड मार्क मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लेंथ नाउ विल अप्लाई फोर सेंटर मेथड सो वट वी विल डू फ्रॉम फर्स्ट सेंटर वी विल ड्रॉ कंटिन्यूस थिन लाइन्स टू द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ अपोजिट साइड्स सो फॉर दिस सेंटर दीज टू आर अपोजिट साइड्स सो अलाइन योर स्केल विद दिस सेंटर एंड मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस अपोजिट साइड एंड ड्रॉ अ कंटिन्यूस थिन लाइन then align your scale with this center and midpoint of this opposite side and draw another continuous thin line same step we will follow from center number 2 so align your scale with center number 2 and mid with midpoint of opposite side and draw a continuous thin line then from center number 2 draw another continuous thin line to the midpoint of opposite side so we will get two more centers see this intersection and this intersection are obtained between these four lines so these two intersections are our next two centers so we'll call this as center number 3 and this is center number 4 now what we will do we have to create this ellipse which is the base of the cone in isometric view so how to create that ellipse we will make use of these four centers to draw four arcs to create that ellipse so let us use first center put your compass at this center and open compass to this radius see to this length and draw arc between these two points and keep it thin because this edge is hidden this edge is hidden behind the curved surface of cone so we will keep this part of the curve thin then place your compass at this center and open compass to this distance that is the same distance and draw a thick curve between these two points keep it thick so draw it carefully then place your compass at this intersection that is center number 3 and open compass to this radius if everything is correct over here then you will find that these two distances this distance and this distance will be same or this distance and this distance these two will be same so put your compass at this center and open compass to this radius and connect the first two curves with the third curve similarly put your compass at this center that is center number 4 open compass to this radius and draw the fourth curve which will join the first two curves so in this manner we will create a ellipse so this is the isometric view of a circle now after this we have to draw axis of the cone height of the cone is mentioned to us as 50 so we will draw axis to 50 so before that we need center of the base of the cone so how to find the center very easy use these two midpoints and draw a continuous thin line then use these two midpoints and draw second continuous thin line 
so where these two center lines will intersect that is the center of the base of the cone then from that center we will draw thin vertical line of how much equal to height of the cone mentioned in the problem that is 50 so from the center draw a thin vertical line it should be very thin so now we got apex of the cone what we'll do next align your scale with this apex and keep scale tangent to this curve tangent see over here we have aligned our scale with apex and it is tangent to this curve so draw a thick slant edge of the cone now similarly on other side align your scale with this apex and keep scale tangent to this curve draw the second slant edge of this cone now you can see we are ready with the isometric view of cone and you can see this part of the cone or this curve of the cone we kept thin because it is hidden behind the curved surface now after this we will erase these extra lines and we will place isometric dimensions so in this case we have to place two dimensions first is diameter of the cone second is height of the cone so let us place height of the cone so for that we will align our scale with this isometric axis like this then after that what we will do we will leave one millimeter gap over here and we'll draw a continuous thin line of around 15 millimeters then align your scale with this isometric line leave one millimeter gap over here and draw a continuous thin line which is dimension line and this will be around 15 millimeters then use your roller scale align your roller scale with this isometric axis and roll back by 10 millimeters and draw dimension line over here and this dimension line will be isometric line because we have drawn this parallel to this isometric axis add closed field arrowheads on both sides and over here we will mention phi 40 after that we will place height of the cone so how to place the height align your scale with this center line leave one meter gap over here and draw continuous thin line one meter gap continuous thin line then use your roller scale align with this line and roll carefully to apex so that the scale should remain parallel to this center line then leave one meter gap draw a continuous thin line over here also that is the second extension line now what we will do between these two extension lines we have to draw a vertical line parallel to axis or parallel to third isometric axis which is vertical so we will use this column and we will draw vertical continuous thin line and we will draw closed field arrowheads at both ends of this line and we will mention 50 as the dimension which is height of this cone and erase this extra extension line now after that we will place angles on both sides we have to show that these two are isometric axis so we have to show 30 degree angle so let us extend this line further on both sides in order to accommodate that dimension so over here draw a curved dimension line add closed field arrowheads on both sides and in the lined system we will write 30 degrees similarly on other side continuous thin line curved line then arrowheads 
then in gothic style and in aligned system we will mention that this is 30 degree angle so now you can see we are ready with isometric view of a cone thank you very much